two, one, boom, boom, pump. Um, I think I got that right. Anyways, um, I don't know if I got all these things right or not. I don't know, man. I'm tired of been messing with this thing over and over and over again. Either it works or it doesn't work. I'm not live yet. See, and there it goes. It zooms in a little bit more. So if I go further back, I get further back. But if it comes over here, then it comes over here. I, I don't know anymore. I'm going to move this over here. And I'll move it over here. And then we'll go right there. And we'll just leave it right there. We'll just... We'll just leave it right there. I don't know. This thing keeps on zooming on me. Why does it want to zoom on me? I do not know. But we'll leave it right there. <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. I don't know what to think of this anymore. Anyways, uh, where are we at? Let me see here. Good morning, Double R Radio. Uh, 55 seconds left. Uh, so let me have some coffee here and get some energy. And then we'll talk a little bit. There we go. Good coffee, man. Coffee, man. Damn. Un taquito barbacoa ahorita, some pan dulce. I'd be in hog heaven. Ah, good stuff. Here we go. Let's go live. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. There we go, Selena Techno Cumbia. Good morning, Double R Radio. Wednesday morning, hump day, Wednesday it is. You know, I woke up feeling lazy this morning. I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just getting lazy and lazy and older and older. And man, I used to be Mr. Saturday Night Fever. Now I just wake up hoping I don't have a fever. There you go. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Michaela. Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. How are we doing? Anyways, um, can you believe that playoff basketball is here and my beloved San Antonio Spurs are playing tonight? It's a one-game playoff. They're playing against the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't know how this new playoff system works. I just know that if they lose, they're out. Simple. One game. You lose, you're out. You win, you move on. So um, am I going to watch the game? I probably will. I probably will watch the game. Oh, I got some eye. You know, for the past week, um, a fly got into my apartment, and that thing flies around and it does whatever it wants. It sits down next to me and watches TV and all this other good stuff. And really, man, I, I, I've, I've gotten to be buddies with this fly, uh, but he gets on my nerves sometimes too. And I mean, where did this fly come from? What does it want? Leave me alone. But really, man, this fly, man, for the past week, I can't get rid of it. You know, and you know how sometimes you want to kill a fly and you look at it, it's on the wall, and you want to get a piece of paper or something? There's never a fly swatter around when you need... What do I have in my eye? One second here, man. I got something in my eye. Let's see here. There it is. Ain't it good, there we go. I got it. Whatever it was, I got it. Good morning, Chad. I got the Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Now, um, you know, I stumbled across something yesterday that I know it exists. You know, I just never, you don't think about it, you know, because for me, for one, I don't have any pets. So, but did you know that there's pet insurance out there? I didn't know this in a sense. Now we have car insurance, home insurance, life insurance, right? All that stuff. But I never realized there was pet insurance for your pet, for your animal, for your cat, for your dog, whatever, your parakeet, whatever, your python, whatever. You can get pet insurance. You know how people, I'm, I'm telling you, man, there is big, big money in being a veterinarian. No doubt, man. I mean, people love their pets, and they'll go far and beyond to save their pets. All true. Let me see here. We're going to click here. No, we're not going to click there. We're going to go right there. There we go, and we're clicking right there. I don't know why I'm getting all these pop-ups, but really, man, pet insurance. Now, my daughter, love her with all my heart, my oldest daughter, her cat was dying and needed uh, surgery. And I think it cost her like $2,500 to save her cat. And I told her, Mija, let the cat go, man. You know, keep your 25 to and get a new kitty. No, Dad, I love my cat. I love Snickers. Yeah, Mija, but what do you love more, Snickers or $2,500? I know which one I would pick. With $2,500, you can buy a lot more kitties. No, Dad, but they're not going to be Snickers. Snickers is her cat. 
And there you go. You know, I used to have a Persian cat, and uh, I've talked about this a couple of times. Good morning, John Aganata, Double R Radio Sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, and Haim, California. Also, my prima, Irene Gayona. Good morning, prima. How we doing? I used to have this cat. It was a Persian cat. You know, Persian cats are cats that have a lot of hair. You know, they fancy, dancy, you know, Persian cat. Their face is kind of looks like they walked into a wall. It's it's like a flat face, right? And I would have to take that cat to get groomed like once every three months. And it would cost me from 60 to $75 to groom this cat. I said, man, I don't even give myself this treat. Man, and I'm taking this cat? Are you serious? It's not going to happen. So I got rid of him. And there you go. I'm not a pet person. If I had a yard, I would love to have a dog. You know, I really, but I don't have a yard, man. And I don't have time to have a dog inside my house and take him out for a walk every day, every day, so he can go poo-poo. Not going to do it. So there you go. Let's see what's going on out here. <sighs> there we go. Um, a pregnant mom went ballistic at a restaurant. When one of her family members, when they were having a special dinner for some reason, one of her family members asked her, well, the woman has 11 children, and one of her family members asked her, uh, do your children, do they all have the same dad or different dads? <laughs> you want to piss off a woman, that'll do it right there. That and when the guy told the woman, yo mando, se acabó el vato. Get the hell out of the way, man. They're going to come at you with a frying pan. Don't ever, guys, don't ever tell a woman, yo mando, because that's the end of that. That'll be the end of whatever you got going on, I promise you. So there you go. I, I can respect this. This is pretty much an insult for a woman to go ballistic. Cops were called, and she was almost arrested when a family member told her, hey, your kids, your 11 kids, do they all have the same dad? <laughs> she started throwing beer bottles and everything. <laughs> <laughs> when it was all said and done, she said, only half of them. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, check this out. Orlando, Florida. A twin refused to be the best man for his identical brother because he's marrying his ex. How crazy is that right to be twins, right? And your brother's getting married to the woman you were married to. I mean, really, let's talk from the woman's point of view. I mean, you already had one of these guys. Now you're going to get the other guy? I understand they got different personalities, but they look the same. Change it up a little bit. Get somebody taller, smaller, darker, richer, poorer, whatever. But really, to marry your twin brothers, to marry your twin brother, huh, I don't know about that. I really, really don't. You know, um, people have told me, Robert, um, You've been single a long time. And I go, yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. You've been single a long time, Robert. Yes, I have. Anyways, um, Cindy Martinez Hernandez says pet insurance is offered to us, uh, to her company. There you go. Um, I don't know. Like I said, there's Mika. There we go, Mika. I was just talking about you, Mika, about your cat Snickers, because uh, we're talking about pet insurance. My daughter has two cats, and she will go to bat for them. She loves them. She really, really does. And uh, I think her cats get better Christmas gifts than I do. <laughs> right? Right? My daughter's posting pictures of her cats, what they got for Christmas. They got a, they got a Wi-Fi headset, and they got a remote control, and they got all, you know, all this stuff. And, and Dad got a $20 car wash. There you go. Thanks, Mika. I love you, too. No, but really, man, my daughter loves her cats very, very much. But I never realized that there was pet insurance really man i never realized this that's crazy it really really is good morning john i gonna primo roger Rivas. good morning primo how we doing anyways good morning to my daughter jeanette Rivas. good morning mija love you with all my heart there we go uh my prima says making breakfast huevos rancheros frijolitos con chorizo homemade flour tortillas y cafecito that's the way to eat right there man that is the way to eat right there you know people have told me robert have you ever gone to la madeline or have you ever gone to La Panaderia? No, man, I don't want to go there. I want to go to a Tinka Taco, a Papa Taco, one of these Taqueria number 171. You know, I'm a simple guy, man. Two tacos, a cup of coffee, right? Like, let's just say right now I'd be at a Taqueria, 
Is it can I take your order? Uh, yeah, let me have a let me have a uh, one taco loco. What's that? That's a chorizo papa and frijoles, okay? And the other one? Nah, let me have a I'll take a mm, un taco de chicharrón con frijolitos abajo, por favor. I'm a simple guy, cause if you go to La Madeline. You know, you can't order that. You can't go to the Madeline, right? Welcome to La Madeline. Can I help you? Dame unos huevos rancheros, por favor. Frijolitos, papas, barbacoa, two corn tortillas, some pico de gallo, por favor. Traen pan dulce. And then I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And really, man, I'm very, very old school, very simple, and two eggs, some, like my prima put, frijolitos, papitas, some sausage, whatever the case. I'm good to go. I'm a simple guy. I'm simple to please. Uh, just don't ask my two ex-wives that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> good morning, Jedi. I'm gonna say, Leroy Lou John. He said, good morning, brother, from... Oh, it's Leroy. It's snowing again in Colorado, dude? Are you serious? Wow. We had two days of snow over here two or three months ago, and I don't want to see snow again for the rest of my life, man. How do you do it up there? Really, man? I couldn't deal with I mean, I love cold weather. I just don't want snow. There we go. Uh, my daughter says that she likes the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls. Now, if you've never tried these before, the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls are for the lazy person. It's like, uh, mija, mija, lazy. <laughs> Everybody gets lazy once in a while, right? But the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, all you do is peel the plastic, put it in the microwave for about a minute, and you're good. It comes with scrambled sausage with pork, scrambled egg with pork sausage with uh, country gravy and cheese, all in a bowl, three ninety nine. So um, if you're lazy, you don't want to cook anything, you just want to throw something in there, there you go. I tried it. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. I'm okay with it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> he said, Leroy, it sucks, brother. The snow up here sucks, but we need the aqua. There we go. Anyway, good morning, Jedi. Good the Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. How we doing? You know, um, yesterday for dinner, I got a little bit lazy, and uh, um, I made um, homemade hot dogs. What that means is that I didn't have hot dog buns, so I got regular bread, and I folded it. And I put a hot dog in there, and then I put some um, I put some uh, baby Ray's barbecue sauce and mustard, two of those, and they were pretty good. They, they, they weren't too bad. Um, you know, it, it, it did the trick. It was better than spending fifteen dollars on a Pizza Hut pizza. You know, um, yesterday I posted. What do I have in my? What the hell's going on here? You know, yesterday I posted on my Facebook page a clip. Um, whoever hasn't seen Grease two, I love Grease two, almost better than Grease one, but. There was a clip from Grease 2 where there was a wardrobe malfunction that nobody realized happened. Crazy, man. And I posted it on my Facebook page where there is a track runner who's running. And you know how they jump over those obstacles? I don't know what you call them. You jump over it. You jump over the next one. Well, while this guy's jumping in his shorts, there was a wardrobe malfunction. All I'm going to say is it was swinging to the right. And it was swinging to the left. But the kicker here is that nobody caught it. It comes out in the movie. It came out at the movies. Isn't that crazy? It's on DVD. It comes out on HBO. <laughs> I was like, hey, man. And really, man, if you listen closely, you can hear that thing cutting wind. <laughs> That baby's cutting wind, man. I said, man, this guy, man. <laughs> wow. He really wants to uh, come out on Grease 3, right? But anyways, it's a crazy video. If you get a chance, check it out. I posted it on my Facebook page. Anyways, where are we at? We are at uh, 848. Let's get it going. Oxygeno. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Here we are, Wednesday. Did I say Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday morning it is, and, uh, well, there we go. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now, robertrevisradio.com. Simple, robertrevisradio.com, and I'm going to say it one more time, robertrevisradio.com, and just click on that media blur button, and you'll be joining me in vivo. Join me now. Orale. 